Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fancine. Greg here, and today I have for you, physical media collectors have become custodians of film history. Yes, I know that sounds a bit pret pretentious, and that's why I use the title, because it is very pretentious. But I've been thinking about this a lot lately, since the whole French Connection censorship thing came about, and as of the making of this video, uh, Disney and them are trying to say that William Friedkin approved that edit uh, of the film. That's his director's cut. That's what they were given. Uh, I Honestly, I call bullcrap on that. I really don't think William Friedkin uh, you know, approved that, but we shall see. We shall see. But anyways, uh, what I mean by physical media collectors have become custodians of film history. I often talk a lot of here on my channel about, uh, you know, preserving film and, 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 you know, stuff like that. It's like, you you should buy physical media because it helps you this. You can't do, it can't be changed, can't be edited, uh, you know, stuff like that can't be taken from you. And I often also use this clip from In Search of Darkness Part 1, which I think is a really great cl clip. It talks about uh, films being lost. There's a real dilemma right now in terms of what I've been calling the digital divides. Stuff was on VHS in the 80s, and if it didn't make the leap to DVD, then the odds are that much less that it's going to make the leap to Blu-ray, and now the odds are even much less that somebody's going to like sell that transfer of streaming rights somewhere, and there is stuff that has vanished almost. It's film history. We talk about um, how the silent film era, how 75 or 80% of the films are all gone. We're like, oh, how can that happen? But we're letting it happen again. That is such a great uh, poignant clip there because it, it, it means a lot. It does truly mean a lot because we are really losing films here. Uh, you know, much like the silent era, like they mentioned, a lot of films were lost in the 20s because of a, a fire and stuff like that as well. And then there's movies today that a lot of movies that maybe were shot on video back in the 80s and stuff like that. But there's like this, like really obscure cult movies or certain movies that just for whatever reason have never got a Blu ray or DVD or now, or now into the 4K. Um, you know, so, so a lot of films are being lost in certain measures and now we're sort of losing films that already existed that have got that blu-ray 4k dvd and moved on to streaming we're losing the films because they're now editing and censoring those films because they're afraid that somebody might get offended essentially these companies and studios are afraid that they uh, somebody might get offended so they're retroactively changing and editing these movies because they're uh, they live in fear which is uh, really stupid and really weird because they live in fear that somebody on Twitter or social media will say, oh, I saw this movie and it truly offended me. We must not watch this movie ever again. It needs to be changed and need to be edited because it may cause them problem. And, you know, I hate to tell you guys, just because somebody tweets that out on Twitter or somewhere and gets like thousands and thousands of likes does not mean that's how the whole world or the whole U.S. or other countries feel. It's just not. That's just a small fraction. It's just there for click for clicks and stuff. And um, so as a physical media collector, and people out there who may not be collecting physical media, seriously, you need to start cultivating uh, and curating your own physical media collection because in, in a sense you are preserving film history because now you, for all those people that went out there and bought the French Connection, uh, the Criterion Blu-ray that before, you know, this whole streaming uh, censorship fi fiasco, uh, you will now have a, a copy of uh, – the French Connection, unedited, uncensored, in your collection. You've curated that. You've saved that. You're preserving film history. And granted, I know that with a Blu-ray or DVD or Laserdisc or a, a VHS, it's not like a, having an actual print of the film. You don't actually own the film. It's on this, you know, strip of tape or this digital bits on a, a you know, a disc. I know you don't own it. I know it's not like people are going to come knocking and say, can I have that to, uh, you know, scan it? No, I know that. Um, but you never know. There may come a day when all these streaming services and all these movies, uh, you know, truly do start taking so much away from you that you cannot see it through that because that's where home entertainment is now. And it's not, it's really not going to change because Netflix actually posted a really good uh, subscribe, subscriber growth after the whole password sharing thing. So I guess the password sharing thing, uh, you know, cracking down on that worked because now people have signed up for Netflix again. So streaming is there. It's convenient and for most truly really is. I mean, it's, it's hard to convince so many people around the world to, you know, give up certain streaming services. And I really do say, I say cancel your streaming services, specifically those ones like Netflix and uh, Disney Plus and stuff like that, because they're 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 just you making content. They're removing stuff. They're editing stuff. They're censoring stuff. Uh, they're using things for tax write offs. It's just created a, a this. It's like entertainment today, man, is horrible. So uh, 
start cultivating and curating your own physical media collection, start preserving your films, start saving them because you never know. And you never really know what will happen to these films. You know, who is to say that one day that, that favorite film that you like to watch, you've seen multiple, multiple times. Maybe you don't own a copy of it. Uh, maybe you've streamed it a lot or you've bought a digital that somebody decides, you know what, that movie is culturally inappropriate. So we're going to start editing this part. We're going to take out, we're going to take out the boobs. Uh, we're going to take out the butts. We're going to take out the cuss words. We're going to take out this slur or that slur. We're going to uh, change the movie because, you know, even though it's saying something about history uh, that was actually true, people don't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't let people hear that part of history because, you know, you know, that's bad. That's no, 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 that's bad. That might, that might cause a stir on Twitter. Uh, so, you know, and then you're lost and you don't have that. You don't have that. So I say by your physical media, Go out there, cultivate, uh, curate, uh, keep it. You never know when your friends or family might, hey, you remember that movie? Uh, you, you know where this happened? Uh, I can't find it. or it, I, I could have sworn this part was in it. Do, do you have that? Can, can we come in? Can we watch it? You know, uh, curating history, uh, film history is something that, I, like I said, it may seem – pretentious of me to say it's something like that and yes it's not like we're doing uh <laughs> it's not like we're doing heavy work here or uh stuff like that but i think it's something that's important and in the form of our a, a culture because art is a form of culture and movies i movies and tv show i believe are art you know people there's a lot of people that wanted to there, there's a writer who had a vision there's a director who had a vision there's people that worked on this to help make that vision come true the boom mic operators you know the visual effects people the practical effects people i mean there's so many people that worked on films and that make the films the way they are and i think you know censoring and editing and changing for the sake of you know brownie points or keeping your job or a fear of an outburst from somebody is just inappropriate and it's it, it takes away from what art and uh, us as humans and cultures are really truly about because yeah we don't always agree on everything we don't always see eye to eye but uh once you start censoring and taking things away and out of fear of what somebody will say that's that's cowardness that's losing who you really are uh i don't know the best i can say is like if for those people and, and i don't like saying this because it feels like you know the best i can say if, if you don't like that scene in a movie nobody's making you watch that movie not everybody in the world is going to watch the french connection and hear those words you know not everybody will watch them it's just some people just don't like those movies. some people do it's just the way it is and uh that's why I collect physical media. I will always collect physical media. I will continue to support physical media. I will continue to curate my collection in the way I want with movies I want. And in hopes that, uh, you know, if someday comes a time when uh, streaming and all that is, uh, is basically taking away everything, I will still have it. I will still have it in my collection, even though I may not actually own the movie. As some people have pointed out in my comments, you know, you know, you don't really own that movie on physical. Uh, yes, I know I don't own the movie. I own a, a license for the movie on a disc or whatever, whatever bullshit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, but I will have what I have and uh, I'm happy to have it. And I'm happy to curate. And I want you guys all out there, please curate you a physical media collection, preserve film history, preserve what you like, uh, whether it's highbrow, lowbrow, or nobrow. Uh, collect your physical media because you never know what will be changed, censored, edited, because somebody gets offended. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Uh, do you cultivate or curate your own physical media collection? Have I inspired you? Or do you just think I'm stupid and tell me to shut up? Seriously, leave all those comments in the comment section down below because it helps me either way, good or bad. And if you like to install here, maybe consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell for notifications. If I earned your subscription, that would be really awesome if I did. Or, uh, you know, sharing the video for everybody to see. Spread the word far and wide. and uh, Or possibly joining and becoming a channel member. That would be awesome if I earned your channel membership and shout out to all my channel members i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you all for watching everybody out there wherever you are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night always support physical media it is the superior format it truly is godspeed